Yeah, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on how to run .cc file, .pcap file, .tr file and .xml file using Network Simulator 3 and uh, uh, respective applications to open the files. So before going how to run all these files, uh, first I will tell you which application will support the respective files to get executed. If you take .cc file, so we need uh, uh, the NS3 inbuilt tool known as .waf tools, WAF, WAF tools we need. So in order to execute XML file, we need uh, one of the application known as network animator. So in order to execute PKF files, we need the application known as Wireshark tool. And in order to run or execute or analyze TR file, we need a trace matrix application. So we will see one by one. First, let us see how to execute the .cc file. So this is one of the uh, cc file p1.cc so we need to just copy this file and then we need to paste it in the scratch folder so where is the scratch folder so just you can go to desktop from there you can go to ns all in one 3.27 from there ns 3.27 from there you can go to scratch there you can just uh, uh, write your own code or i already have a code with dot cc so I have just copied and pasted it. So once you pasted that file in the scratch folder, then you need to go back to the previous directory that is ns3.27 or I can tell you once again. So in order to run that uh, cc file, so again you need to go to command prompt, right click and then go as a open in terminal. So you need to go to in this path in order to run that cc file. So just go to desktop or first I will go to root directory. Just you type sudo su. This is nothing but super user directory. There I will just go to my root directory. Okay. Then change the directory to desktop. From there you go to ns all in one 3.27 directory. From there you go to ns 3.27 directory. Okay. Don't go to scratch folder, you can stop there. Okay, here, what I meant to say, here you should go. Desktop, ns all in one 3.27 directory, from there ns 3.27. So here you can find web tools. So this is the application which helps in compiling the .cc file, okay. Now I am in that present ns 3.27. So being in that directory, just you type the command dot slash web tool, that is web hyphen hyphen run then you should type the scratch because your file is present in scratch folder and then type program name that is p1 and then click enter automatically the code will be executed okay one second ah, now you can see it takes some time to compile it is entering into some directory and then uh, it takes uh, three to four seconds to execute so however i have written the complete steps in this file you can see it for your reference so steps to open the dot cc file you need to copy dot cc to scratch folder and i told where to find the scratch folder you can find in this directory Okay, go to desktop, ns all in one 3.27 directory, from there ns 3.27 and then go to scratch. After copying .cc file in that scratch folder, then you need to go to the this directory through command prompt and then type the following command, was I told you, .slash web, iphone iphone run space scratch slash file name. That is what I have done here. Okay, so once you are done, you got the command line output. So this is how you need to uh, run the .cc file in ns now let us see how to run the .xml file. So in order to run the XML file, we need uh, one of the 
uh, application known as network animator. Okay. For simplicity, again I will close the entire terminal. Again I will open the terminal. Again I will enter into root directory. Okay. So you need to go to this directory. Change directory to desktop. NS all in one 3.27 directory. Okay. There, in this directory, you need to go to one more directory known as net animator directory. Okay. Change the directory to net animator 3.108. Just click enter. So there you should type dot slash capital N E T capital A N I M. That is network animator. And then just click enter. Then the application will open. This is what the network animator application. Just you can browse. From there you can see one of the uh, XML file. So here I will take one of the XML like uh, uh, p3.xml and then click open. Then you just click on the play button. Then as per the animation file configuration, it will just run the code. Okay, I will just stop. It. So this is how you need to execute the animation file. Okay. So same steps I have written in this uh, Word file. You can see it. In order to open the XML file, we need a network animator application. So where to find that application? You need to use the following path. That is desktop NS Solomon 3.27. From there you go to net anim iPhone 3.108. From that directory you just type dot slash net anim. Then automatically an application will open. Then you can just browse any one of the XML file and you can analyze. Now let us see how to open the PK files, that is animation files. So in order to open the PK file, we need Wireshark tool. So just I will go to once again the command prompt. So just you need to open the Wireshark. It is very simple. Just type Wireshark and then click enter. Okay. Automatically the application will open. This is what the Wireshark application. Okay, here you can go to uh, one of the interface, or you can just type for simplicity Wireshark and then space. You can type one of the uh, PK file which you have. So, here I can see the various uh, PK files. Since there is no internet connection, I am unable to open. So directly I will open the PK file here. So I will just see one of the PK file name, desktop, uh, NS all in one, NS 3.27. So here you can see a number of PK files. So one of the PK file I will open. So this is what uh, the PK files. Uh, so p2p iphone 1 iphone 0 so just i will open one of the file so better i will go to same path i will just clear it because all pk files will be available in ns 3.27 directory so i will just navigate to that directory okay change the directory to desktop from there NS all in one. From there, you can go to NS 3.27 because all PK files are present here. You can see all PK files we have. So, just I will open one of the PK files. Just type white shark space and any PK file name. Uh, I will just open this file that is uh, uh, CSMA3 iPhone 4 iPhone 0 dot PK. Okay, and then just click enter. Then automatically, white shark will read that PK file. Uh, this is how it happened so if you want to read one more file just go to file open and then uh, you can see all pk files are available here okay so these are all the various pk files you can click and then click on ok that respective pk file will be opened okay so in this way you can open the wireshark tool to uh, read the pk files so the same steps are written here here you can see here steps to open dot pk files in order to open we need a wireshark application so before if you don't have wireshark application just you can type this command to 
install the Wireshark. So sudo space apt space install space Wireshark. Then automatically Wireshark will be installed. Then you just type Wireshark as I uh, typed in the window uh, Linux platform. Automatically the Wireshark tool will open and then you can access one of the PK file and you can analyze. So we are left with how to open the last TR files. Sorry. So let's see how to open the .tr file. tr is a trace file. Uh, in order to open the trace file, we need a trace matrix application. So first you need to download the uh, trace matrix application from the uh, one of the website. You can just type in the Google download trace matrix and then you can uh, uh, download it. So this is what the uh, trace matrix application here you can see trace matrix 1.4.0 uh, you will get some zip file just right click it and then uh, extract so you will get this one trace matrix 1.4.0 inside you can find three files that is library file readme file and trace matrix dot jar so in order to open or to read uh, the tr file we need to use this trace matrix application so it is a java oriented tool so how to open this trace matrix so just to go to uh, terminal i will enter into root directory sudo space su and then the so since the trace matrix is downloaded in desktop available in desktop so i will just change directly to desktop there you can see this is what my application trace matrix one point so i need to move to in that directory so change directory to trace matrix so after changing into that directory just you type java space iphone jar space trace matrix dot jar means the same file name which is present here okay and then click enter then automatically the application will open so it takes a couple of seconds yeah so this is what the uh, trace matrix application so here you can just go to file and then choose file so here you can go to again ns all in one 3.27 directory sorry ns 3.27 directory because all files will be available there just you go to here and then i will go to home uh, ready desktop ns all in one 3.27 ns 3.27 here you can find all trace files are available you can access one of the trace file like file.tr open and you should click on execute analysis so it will show you the name of the file what is its size what is its path all those things so just click on execute analysis then it will start analyzing the trace file so here you can see the complete uh, uh, trace file options you can use as per your convenience so in this way uh, you can uh, open the dot cc file using web tools dot pk files using a white shark tool dot xml file using network animator tool and lastly dot uh, tr file using uh, trace matrix application okay hope so enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe my youtube channel for more videos bye